Hey guys, Devin here from American Aquarium. I just want to go over some quick tips on um, some mechanical piece of aquarium keeping, but something that we found many people kind of ask some questions, need some help about, which is the basics of installing tubing, um, plumbing parts, Teflon tape. So I want to go over some quick tips and we'll go over our supplies here too. Uh, what we'll need to make something like a uh, check valve, ball valve, or just some uh, reducer adapter type things. Alright, to make some of our plumbing parts and ultimately what we'll end up doing is checking to make sure that we did a good job after we make the parts. We're going to need some supplies. I recommend when you're doing plumbing installation like this, you have some Vaseline petroleum jelly around uh, Teflon tape. You're going to need something to cut tubing and also heat up the tubing and then ultimately if you need to tighten your connection snugly you use some vice grips here. So taking these two pieces as an example and making a connection here say we're just doing a simple plumbing part connection like this. First thing I want to focus on is using Teflon tape on our threaded screws here and that's where Teflon tape is important for helping keeping leaks. Um, when head pressure is applied to connections, the water is going to go where there's least resistance. So coming out of the thread, something like this. Now, I ran out of Teflon tape, but you're going to want to make a few times around the whole threaded area and make that pretty thick. So that way when you connect these together, it makes a real nice seal. And then if we needed to, I'd use my vice grips and turn this so it's nice and snug. Um, now, if I want to apply tubing onto these connections here, I'm going to take my tubing, but also um, I want to lubricate this up so that my tubing goes on. So we use petroleum jelly, it goes around the threads, like so. Just a light layer, just so the tubing will slip on and off, especially off. That's the important part, because sometimes you need to take the connections apart, and this will help with that process. And then so with our tubing that we had connected, or cut down to length, you go ahead and heat it up. You could try slipping the tubing on to the threads without heating it up, but we found that by heating it up, it just goes on that much better. So heat it up real quickly and push on your connection. And it'll go on fairly more easily than if you were just to try to take the tubing and stick it onto the threads. And again, coming off will come off easier as well. So now we make our connection there. Um, after we make our connection, what we can do is ultimately test if everything that we did in the thread and also the tubing is watertight and it's sealed. And what we do is something called a suction test. So we're going to go ahead and take our piece that we just put together, which would be like a, a check valve, a valve valve, and do the suction test where we put our finger over one end and then when you suck, this piece should actually stick to your lip. And that's how you know you have a good seal. If it's not sticking to your lip, you're losing your suction you know that there's something that's wrong with your threads or where your tubing's installed so put your finger over on one end suck we get a pretty good suction um, i could feel that there's maybe a little pull where uh, it might not have a good connection only because i'm using it as an example here but if i take one that's already put together one that we've done uh, with using all the techniques that i showed here i'd have a proper seal right just like this here Again, that pop, we know that there's section and that this thing is watertight and ready for our aquarium use. So I hope these, this video uh, helped you guys out. Uh, it's quick and easy just of how we do some tricks for installation of plumbing parts. Hope you guys find it useful. Remember to like, share, subscribe, leave comments. All those things help us get uh, helpful information out to the hobby and we really appreciate it. So um, thank you and Devin here. See you later. Bye.